Hello and welcome to the Mark Dennis Student Guide to Research Methodology. When approaching a problem, which for many university students will be encompassed by your dissertation research question, what is going to be very important is your methodology. In other words, the method of systematic and theoretical analysis of your chosen area of study. The two main methods you will come across and will find yourself choosing between are quantitative and qualitative. Quantitative is the empirical investigation of a chosen area or problem via, via the statistical, numerical and mathematical data. This would include methods such as questionnaires, surveys, collecting sample data that can be calculated, measured and analysed. For the purposes of this video, we will call this type of method hard. Qualitative is about the in-depth understanding of human behaviour. This would include methods such as interviewing, focus groups and observation. And for the purposes of this video, we will call this type of method soft. Unfortunately, as you will find when attempting your research, it is not a question of simply choosing between the two. Researcher Todd D. Bowers, in his article Towards a Framework for Multi-Paradigm Multi-Methodology, wrote that it may be that all the easy problems have been solved. This article gives the example of a manufacturing company that needs to produce more efficiently, but has conflicts within its workforce. Surely a successful, intervention would see the sustained resolution to both issues, but this problem will require multiple perspectives. Which brings us to the video's main topic, multi-methodology. Multi-methodology recognises that every method has its strengths and limitations, but that the different approaches can be complementary. Example would be that when approaching your methodology, you might want to start with softer methods, such as face-to-face -face interviews with several people, or maybe a focus group. This can then spark ideas on how to approach the harder side, maybe using the findings to construct a questionnaire to measure your problem on a larger scale with the aim of carrying out a statistical analysis. The use of multiple methods will allow triangulation. This word is used to indicate that two or more methods have been used in a study in order to check your results. Triangulation is a very powerful technique that facilitates validation of data through cross-verification from two or more sources. The idea is that you, as a researcher, can be more confident with the results if different methods lead to that same result. Theorists Cohen and Mannion define it as an attempt to map out or explain more fully the richness and complexity of human behaviour by studying it from more than one standpoint. Having a narrow mind a narrow methodology in your dissertation will often be misleading. Therefore, approaching your study from different perspectives or paradigms can help gain a holistic perspective. Past research studies, which in this case will, will be from theorists Burrell and Morgan, have found that several legitimate social paradigms exist when conducting research all of which have similar qualities to the soft and hard methods we talked about at the start of this video. This will then hopefully show the relevance of these paradigms when approaching your methodology. The first is the positive slash structural functionalist paradigm. This is the world of the objective modernist scientist, of logical proofs and deductions, verifiable facts and hypotheses, exact measurements, certainty and universal truths. This leans heavily on the hard or quantitative side of the methodology. The second is the interpretivist paradigm. This is seeing the world subjectively and understanding it in a unique way. It recognises individuality and personal differences. The social world and aesthetics and accepts that we are not predictable. Although we have our own motives, values will change unexpectedly and are not always rational. This leans heavily on the soft or qualitative side of the methodology. The third is the postmodernist, post-structuralist paradigm. This concept holds a unique appreciation for the inherent limitations of human understanding. It knows that there is an unfathomable depth of complexity to the world and that the world is shaped by the very words we use to describe it and that truths are relative. This leans both on the hard and soft side of the methodology saying that human behaviour and spoken word is an important sign of how things may be going, but sometimes the harder, more statistical approach gives a more rounded picture. The fourth and final paradigm is critical emancipatory. This sees power and control in effects everywhere, 
and cautions us to consider our actions or inactions and their possible effects. To look for opportunities for liberation and to participate in the greater causes. Again, this relates to the, both the soft and hard, reflecting more on human behaviour over the harder, more statistical approach. Multi-methodology has shown to also be successful in practice. This has been proven by research conducted by Adrian Small and David Wainwright in their article SSM and Technology Management, Developing Multi-Methodology Through Practice. Research was done in an engineering company that needed to address growing customer complaints and concerns about their products and services. By using past research, the soft or qualitative method, which in this case was called soft systems methodology, was identified as a flexible and adaptable overarching framework that was more concerned with the learning and structuring. This was then combined with the harder, quantitative technology management framework, meaning that their research into what was going wrong was more measurable. The power of mixing the two methods to create a multi-paradigm, multi-methodology meant that they created a rapid solution to this problem in the shape of a customer complaints slash concerns management IS system. This video has talked mainly of the positives involved with multi-methodology, but there are some key weaknesses and limitations to conducting research in this way. The first being that many of these paradigms conflict with each other, as they are self-contained and cannot really be combined. But once understood, their variety suggests that the use of many methods and paradigmic views would afford the researcher a greater appreciation of the problem in hand than any one method could do by itself. Cultural issues will also make it harder to analyse and will affect world views. These paradigms and ways of thinking will not overcome bias, of which the only way to battle this would be experience and through practice. Finally, People have different cognitive abilities that will mean that some methods and paradigms will be harder for different people to embrace. Such as the logical thinker being able to embrace the quantitative methods and vice versa. The full list of the up-to-date peer-reviewed journals and research articles used in this video can be found attached. The aim of this video was for you as students to embrace that problems are not simple. One view will not show all sides of the argument. From more than one standpoint, you will be able to fully understand the problem and have a successful intervention and quality dissertation. Thank you.